Hi, uh, we'll be starting with another topic which is called the power system analysis in which uh, we'll be starting with the generation part uh, followed by the transmission part and then the distribution part. And apart from that, we'll be discussing about the uh, types of circuit breakers and uh, relays on that in the later part of the uh, sessions. So, starting with the type of hydroelectric plants or the generation. <laughs> generation of electricity, how we will be generating the electricity that is a very important content for system analysis and uh, based on that different type of arrangement we have and those arrangements are uh, normally known as the hydropower electric plants, uh, another is called as the thermal thermo, uh, plants, nuclear plants, diesel plants, long storage plants and so on, different type of plants are there. Starting with a very basic part that is called the hydroelectric plants. <coughs> In a hydroelectric plants, basically everybody knows what happens, but uh, for a brief description, we can understand that in hydro plants, uh, water is stored in some place or uh, running water is actually passed through a turbine which is actually connected to the generator or the synchronous alternator and when the turbine moves, its uh, shaft is actually coupled with your generator and the generator produces electricity. Now, whatever be the flow of the uh, water, it depends on that how much electricity will be produced and the type of the turbines we will be discussing in this chapter and the terminology which are normally being asked in objective type of questions, we will discuss that, how power is generated, we will see that, what type of uh, different hydroelectric plants are available, we will see that. Starting with the selection of the site, it is very important in any power system analysis that the selection of the either the hydroelectric plant or the thermoelectric plant is very necessary. So first of all selection of the site. In the selection of the site, uh, first of all the thing is that since it's a hydroelectric plant that there should be ample amount of water available. The quantity of water available is very important. And how the quantity of water is taken actually uh, by the way that we know that uh, water is coming by our uh, rainfalls, by the precipitation, precipitation and, and uh, water is even getting evaporated from there. So we have some thing calculation the, which is left is called the runoff. So we can say that R runoff. Runoff is equals to precipitation minus the evaporation. We know the precipitation, what is precipitation? Precipitation is what which is actually coming from the rainfall and evaporation is which is getting evaporated due to heat. So actual runoff, actual water quantity available at the site would be the runoff quantity. This is a very important term in Hydroelectric plants, so we have for runoff, we should have a, a record of the graph and uh, hydrology also, will, which we will be looking after in few minutes. Apart from that, very important thing is selection of the site that the
psi should be able to store or we can say that the storage of the water, storage of water, water behind the dam is very much important. Apart from that, last very important thing is head. Head of the water is very important in production of the power. How? What is actually head? Head is the level of the water up to which we can store it behind the dam. Suppose this is the this is my dam and I have water behind the storage here up to this point. So this would be known as the head of the plant. Isn't it? No. This would be known as the head of the plant, not this one. At the height which my dam is actually constructed from the ground, that would be called as the head of the dam. This is whatever is in below this, this is called the reserve capacity, which is always there for the generation. Since below this, uh, water will not be able to flow towards this side, but it will be always there to give a water capacity, that is the reserve capacity. We will not go into that. The discussion is about the head. So, this is the head which is actually the water is up to the level. So, it is how it is important that we know that uh, we have uh, learned a formula that P is equal to MGH. And we have studied one more one uh, for kinetic, kinetic energy that half can be square. So whatever with the head MGH that will be getting converted into your kinetic energy half can be square. So whatever whatever with the height of the uh, water that is the potential energy of the water and that is actually converted into the your um, kinetic energy and then from kinetic energy to your electrical energy. So, what are maximum your uh, MGH? So, maximum your will be your power generated. We have a formula for this also. Uh, for height, we know that the power produced is equal to 0 0.75 divided by 736 into Q W N H. What is Q? What is W? What is N? What is H? <coughs> Q is actually the density of the water. This density is fixed for a type of water, for a place. This density is almost fixed. Or if it, even if it is fluctuating, then uh, there will not be any much difference in the density of the water. W is your efficiency. W is your efficiency. Sorry, Q is your. Excuse sorry. Q is your discharge. This is. W is your efficiency, W is your uh, density, density of the water, discharge per meter cube, meter cube or just a meter cube per second, how much discharge, how much water is flowing actually, that is called the discharge, density of the water and is the efficiency of the plant. efficiency of the plant and H is the head. So, H is your head, head of the plant. So, from this formula we can say that the this is a, almost a constant. Q is also almost a constant, W is also a constant and for a plant efficiency is also a constant or even if it is not then much, there is not much difference between 
uh, hydroelectric plant efficiency. So we can directly say that the, your power is directly proportional to your head. So this is a very important relationship. Power generated power is directly proportional to your head. So please remember this thing for objective type of questions. Now, coming to another part of the uh, selection is called the your distance of the power station side from the load center. Now, if the load center is very much um, near to the hydroelectric power plant, there may be a chances of uh, flood and all that. And uh, one more thing, when the hydro power plant is playing, uh, it occupies a lot of area and there must be a, a area, safety area for which that the water which is actually getting the, uh, stored in there should have uh, uh, should must be actually in a uh, safe venue so that it, it even the discharge of the water uh, away from the uh, your dam behind the dam is not a danger for a living person or for, for a uh, society so this is very important that the load center should be uh, far away from the uh, uh, locality or from, from the living environment but it should not be so far that the, uh, that, that will be ad, uh, putting an additional cost on the uh, uh, transmission part so that it should be on a minimum value uh, that the, it is not a dangerous for uh, living persons as well as it should not be far away from the accessibility of the persons so the last and the final point is the distance so these are normal things but the thing which is very important that this formula here the runoff and the head these are very important for the selection of the site when we talk about the selection of the site